how do I make somebody tell the truth? You know, actually, I don't think it's making somebody tell the truth. I think it's helping some, somebody to tell the truth. I think we fool ourselves so much. We want to believe things happen in a certain way. We walk into a room and we think we understand what happened in the room. Um, so I think people fool themselves into believing, or you're, you're a corporation and you want to believe this accident happened in this way, or you're a politician and you're trying to explain how you voted for this completely backwards thing. It's that people are inherently good, I think, and people want to believe that they've done the right thing. And so they'll tell you what they think happened from their perspective. I don't think, there are not a lot of cases where I think people really want to lie to the reporter. It's just that they can't be honest enough with themselves to tell the truth. And so my job in that situation is to ask questions to get you there. And I might feel that it isn't entirely true or that isn't the full story that you're giving me, but I have to know that, that that's your perspective about what happened. So I'll keep asking until I understand, till I think I understand what you're getting at. But the reason why there are two sides in every news story is because there's another way to look at it. You can look at the same tree and see different leaves and see different branches. Um, my job is to, to help you to look at it and say, well, the reason the branches are growing this way or the reason that the leaves came out on this side was the sunshine on this side and not because we didn't water the tree on that side or, or something like that. It's, there's always a second side of the story. That's why it's important for us as reporters to present both of those things. And it's really only my job to help people tell their stories as best they can and tell as much as they can tell me, as much as they can give.